Hey you guys, Molly here with Design Loves Detail and today I've got a brand new design for you. This is a powder bath that I'm so excited about and lots of you guys had requested a smaller bath space so I think you're gonna love this. Stay tuned for more. Okay, bathroom design is one of those things that I think people can get kind of stuck on. Maybe you have a space you need to remodel but you don't know where to start. So I'm hoping that this design will kind of inspire you and give you some ideas, especially with how many people said that they had bathroom spaces that they were looking at working on for the new year and wanted design boards for. So this vanity is kind of what I started with. I wanted to create a space that was like a little bit, um, like a little bit moody, a little bit fun. So it's got some nice like saturated type color but I think it still feels really fresh and current. I want to do a bathroom now <laughs> with this design because I think it turned out really great. So the vanity is what I was starting to say. It comes in a few different sizes. There's a 30 inch, a 36, and a 48 that are currently in stock. I believe there's actually even a 60 inch, but it's a double sink. So if you were wanting to maybe do this in a more uh, main bathroom, that would work too. If it's not just a half bath, maybe it's a, you know, Know, a full bath you could go with the one of the bigger vanity sizes I actually just used the small one the 30 inch vanity and what I love about this is the fun doors on the this vanity and then it also has that contrast with the pop of gold handles against that dark gray and it's just so pretty also nice that this one comes with the vanity top and I believe the sink as well so it's on sale right now for 25% off so if you are looking this is a really good deal I think all the sizes are on sale definitely the the smaller ones are the 25% off and just the 48 inch 25% off and so is the 60 inch so four different sizes and the reviews on this one are fantastic which I've really been trying to grab the products that have those top reviews so that you know we've seen other people have good experiences with these usually I've either used it or I've thoroughly checked reviews uh, when I go through these sometimes there'll be an item that I just really like and it might not be as high but this one man 4.9 star reviews out of 32 which I think is a pretty good sample size you can see some pictures in there in the reviews there's one that shows the double vanity which might be helpful anyway this kind of kicked the design off was this fun vanity and a lot of times a half bath a powder bath is a good place to use an accent like wallpaper because we have um you know a smaller room that can have not as much cost when you do all the walls so it's a less expensive place to wallpaper and then it also is a place where you can kind of go a little more fun like i know a lot of people that maybe like more mellow design more neutrals and things like that love to still put a little pop of excitement in the powder bathroom just because it's like i don't know it's just like a just a fun place to make jazzy <laughs> that's a weird like jazzy jazz it up and do wallpaper so you can see the one that I picked. It's really fun. It is called, let me get the name, Bardwell Wallpaper. And it is $2, around $2 a square foot. So it's not a bad price. It comes in four colors. The sage and the gray are the ones that I was looking at. If you wanted a little green, go with that sage. The gray is actually what is shown on my design board. Again, this is a really well-rated product. 4.8 stars on reviews with 25, 25 reviews that you can check out to kind of see how it looks installed, to see the scale of it. And I think it looks great. So I think I've used this on one other project. Um, just like or on a design board I haven't used it in person yet but I'm I've just really been liking the look of it so kind of classy but then fun and a little bit of movement to it it's an, it's pattern but it's not so much that it's overwhelming I feel like it's like just a really happy medium on a lot of those things which is great and then for the mirror that's above that vanity I am of course loving arches right now you know I have a lot of love for arches and this one is cute because it's kind of like a little antique like beaded detail so it feels a little bit more high-end amazing reviews again virtually five stars let's see what it technically is 4.9 so not a perfect five, but it is 4.9 stars with 72 reviews. And the price right now is 30% off. So really great, I think, on the deal. And it is in stock. So Antique Gold is the one that I used. And this is a great size for about the vanity. You're about 35, a little over 35 inches tall, uh, 23 and a half wide. So it should be a great fit with that um, 30 inch vanity or even the 36. Um, if you're doing like the double vanity, you could do two of these and they would look, it would look great that way as well. So um, I thought that that was a, 
a good deal and just really added the perfect little pop of brass there above the vanity to tie in with the brass handle on the um, vanity cabinet. I did put a toilet on there, <laughs> just a little more modern one. Um, this is an example of one that I've used a couple times by Swiss Madison is the brand. And I love the more clean look toilets. Uh, this is pretty good too, 4.6 stars on reviews, but that's out of 2300. So that's a huge sample size. And we were, we've always been happy with them. It is the elongated seat, more modern shape, like I was saying. So um, it keeps your bathroom looking modern and the price point's not bad. Um, I mean, you could definitely get a cheaper toilet, but I feel like that's pretty reasonable for a more modern style. Oh, for the lighting in this space, you could definitely do one that is attached to the wall if you already have your electrical like that. If you're doing a new space, I thought it was really fun to have a pendant. Um, you'd probably in this case also wanna have, like I usually do in my bathrooms, a mix of some lighting it with the vanity and then like a um, can light in the space as well. Probably one can light and then this fun like more accent lighting at the vanity would really, really be fun. And it's such a good price. This pendant light um, with the matte black is under $50, $49.98 right now. It's just got that really cute shape to it. Feels modern, but still um, has a little bit of character. And then of course the black of this is gonna tie in with a couple other details we have, such as the flooring. This is uh, really similar to the tile that I used in our last house in the mudroom. Um, kind of almost like a brick, uh, but it's a slate stone natural type material. It is just one of my favorites because it has a classic feel and I thought it'd be so cute to do in that herringbone pattern, especially in a half bath, again, where you don't have a ton of space. You can splurge a little bit more on the kind of tile, maybe how you install it because it's just not gonna be a lot of square footage. The herringbone, pattern I just think would be darling. And it is 369 a square foot, so it's not even like a crazy price. You'll pay a little bit more for a herringbone pattern, usually for the install job, and then it has a little higher percentage of waste because of, of how it's laid, but honestly, how cute is it? It's worth it, it's so cute, I love it. I was so excited, this bathroom was one that just like kinda came together, I just love it. And then I'm gonna include, I didn't put it on the design board, but a matte black hardware set that has the towel bar, towel ring, and toilet paper holder. This is one that I used in our last flip house. It's $59.98 for the three-piece set. So it's a good one if you want affordable bathroom hardware that's just simple, matte black, goes with the other details. Like I was saying, like the light fixture and a little bit of that um, black slate on the floor. The faucet as well I went with the matte black. So I'm kind of mixing the antique brass uh, of the handle and the mirror with that matte black that we have um, in those details I was just mentioning. And the faucets that I wanted to share with you. The one that's shown on the design board was actually just already in that vanity image, but these are a couple from Home Depot that I have seen lately that are amazing. Uh, they have their own line and they're actually on sale right now. So some really good deals at Home Depot. The Farrington faucet, this one, I have used, I think I used this one in the no, it was a different one. I was thinking I had used this in the flip house, but it was a, a different one from the same brand, this Glacier Bay. I think that that's their in-house brand. Um, anyway, it's the Farrington. This one does have mixed reviews, but it had like nearly 105 stars. So I thought it was worth looking at. And the price, it's under $100 right now. It's 20% off. So I thought this one was definitely worth considering. And then also the Durand faucet. This one has higher reviews. So if you're if you're worried about you know the reviews, um, this one definitely has um, a higher, 4.5 stars on it. And I mean, these prices though are hard to beat, I feel like, because this one's $71, it's 40% off right now. So definitely a really cute one. It also comes in other finishes. There's a matte gold, brushed nickel, some of those. I'm loving that this looks like a designer faucet, but the price is just really good. Also, above the toilet, I added a fun little detail, which I love putting artwork in bathrooms, especially powder bathrooms, because that's the one that like your guests use. And so just making it feel really luxurious and pretty is always, I think, a great investment. I've done it here. I think this high-end look is pretty reasonable, including the artwork, which is uh, actually a set of three from Target. Again, amazing reviews on these. And some of the best reviews, 4.8 stars that I've seen on Target artwork, because sometimes theirs can be a little 
hit and miss. But these have that pretty like gold edge frame and then just that simple kind of cream and black outline. I used two of them of the three, but I thought if you have a taller ceiling, you can use, you could stack all three maybe. Likely two of them is gonna be enough to go above your toilet. The perfect size, the 16 by 20, that's about the size that I usually look for if I'm putting artwork above the toilet. But it's like one of those things you almost don't expect to see artwork in a bathroom, but it really like classes it up. But those, $85 for three, I thought that, that was pretty pretty reasonable. Also, if, if you end up doing a bathroom that has a tub shower, I didn't, with this being a powder bath, I didn't worry about the fixtures for that, but I believe both of those collections that I shared the Glacier Bay faucets from have the coordinating um, bath fixtures as well if you were doing a full bathroom. So there's my little design. I think that this could be a really fun one. And I will also include in links a vanity light that you could wall mount if you already have electrical set for a wall mount fixture. I will include that. Um, I was thinking something like this with the matte black and two or three lights um, should really work well with the design as well. And kind of keeping again, the same balance with those mixed metals that we're using. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified for future videos. We'd love to have you following along through our remodel and new home construction building process, as well as just the online shopping and deals that I'm always sharing with you. I hope that this has been valuable. Let me know what else you guys are looking for and planning for in this new year as you're working on your homes. And I will see you next time. Oh, check me out too at Instagram, Design Loves Detail and Design Loves Detail.